Psalms and Proverbs for Wednesday, February 26, 2020. Psalm 55, New King James. Trust in God concerning the treachery of friends. To the chief musician with stringed instruments, a contemplation of David. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and do not hide yourself from my supplication. Attend to me and hear me. I am restless in my complaints and moan noisily because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they bring down trouble upon me in wrath, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is severely pained within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling have come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. So I said, Oh, that I would have wings like a dove. I would fly away and be at rest indeed. I would wander afar off and remain in the wilderness, Selah. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues. For I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go around and on its walls. Iniquity and trouble are also in the midst of it. Destruction is in its midst, depression and deceit do not depart from its streets. For it is not an enemy who reproaches me, then I could bear it. Nor is it one who hates me, who has exalted himself against me, then I could hide from him. But it was you, a man, my equal, my companion, my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked in the house of God in the throng. Let death seize them. Let them go down alive into hell, for wickedness is in their dwellings and among them. As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning at noon, I will pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. He has redeemed my soul in peace from the battle that was against me. For there were many against me, God will hear and afflict them. Even he who abides from of old, Selah, because they do not change, therefore they do not fear God. He has put forth his hand against those who are at peace with him. He has broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet there were drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. But you, O oh God, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But I will trust in you. Proverbs 19, New King James. The fear of the Lord leads to life. Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one who is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Also, it is not good for a soul to be without knowledge, and he sins who hastens with his feet. The foolishness of a man twists his way, and his heart frets against the Lord. Wealth makes many friends, but the poor is separated from his friend. A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who speaks lies will not escape. Many entreat the favor of the nobility, and every man is a friend to one who gives gifts. All the brothers of the poor hate him. How much more do his friends go far from him? He may pursue them with words, yet they abandon him. He who gets wisdom loves his own soul. He who keeps understanding will find good. A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who speaks lies shall perish. Luxury is not fitting for a fool, much less a servant, to rule over princes. The discretion of a man makes him slow to anger, and his glory is to overlook a transgression. The king's wrath is like the roaring of a lion, and his favor is like dew on the grass. A foolish son is the ruin of his father, and the contentions of a wife are a continual dripping. Houses and riches 
are an inheritance from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Laziness casts one into a deep sleep, and an idle person will suffer hunger. He who keeps the commandment keeps his soul, but he who is careless of his ways will die. He who has pity on the poor lends to the Lord, and he who, and he will pay back what he has given. Chasten your son while there is hope, and do not set your heart on his destruction. A man of great wrath will suffer punishment, and if you rescue him, you will have to do it again. Listen to counsel and receive instruction that you may be wise in your latter days. There are many plans in the man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel, that will stand. What is desired in a man is kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of the Lord leads to life, and he who has it will abide in satisfaction. He will not be visited with evil. A lazy man buries his hand in the bowl and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. Strike a scoffer, and the simple will become weary. Rebuke one who has understanding, and he will discern knowledge. He who mistreats his father and chases away his mother is a son who causes shame and brings reproach. Cease listening to instruction, my son, and you will stray from the words of knowledge. A disreputable witness scorns justice, and the mouth of the wicked devours iniquity. Judgments are prepared for scoffers, and beatings for the backs of fools. All right, and the links are there, so check it out, and click the like if you like. Tell a friend. All right, leave a comment, question, prayer request. All right, have a great day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.